Oh, got it. You all right? Do you need some help? No. Fine. You took your time. I've been trying to get hold of you all day. Yeah, well, I would have got here earlier, only I promised Gail that I'd go and look at some venues, you know, for renewing our vows. I mean, all we need is a room with some chairs, but before I knew where I was, oh. I was knee-deep in chocolate fountains. One place had a ha-ha. I don't even know oh. what a ha-ha is. Right, well, geez, never mind all that. Look. <sighs> Recognise this? It's not mine. No. It's Pat Phelan's. What? How did you get hold of it? Well, it doesn't matter. But, uh, Vinny's left a message on it. You frightened him to death. You did pitching up at the site like that. They're definitely hiding something. He's having a good old chuckle about what they need for the stuff for the interiors. In yeah. I don't follow. Mm. He's having a laugh. Because there ain't going to be any interiors. Because there ain't going to be any flats. You were right. We need to get this to the police. No, no, it was just the drift of what they were saying. Nah. We need something more solid before we go to the police. For the sake of Rita, Sarah. For the sake of getting shot of that man once and for all. What are you doing? I, I was just uh, looking for some aspirin. I've got a headache. Right. Well, you're not going to find them like that. Sorry? You need to be more methodical. If I'm searching through a drawer or a cupboard, I divide it into sectors. What a fascinating life you must lead. As much as I'd love to continue this riveting banter all night, I've got better things to do. What things? Anything. My dad was all right, by the way, in case you were interested. I'm guessing you would have told me if he wasn't. Anyway, he's all... You all right? Yeah, I was until Stephen Hawking pitched up. I thought you said you had a headache. If I didn't before, I certainly do now. I was looking for some painkillers. Oh, right. Well, they're in the kitchen cupboard. We've always got plenty in. Trust me, you need them in this house. So, uh, how's Dad? Is he still all right to come out? Yeah, once the doctor's finished his evening round. I thought we ought to prepare, so... I've drawn up that rotor. What? Seriously? This isn't a school project. No, we need to be organised. We? You were only meant to be staying one night. Dad's gonna need all the help he can get. <laughs> Peter's cooking dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Um, the last time he used that cooker, he tried to put his washing in it. My money's on fish and chips. Suits me. Yeah, no. Dad needs nutritious meals. Oh, is that right, Doctor? And there was me thinking you were doing a degree in reading. It's English. Whatever, it doesn't make you a neurologist. Oh, all right, lads, wrap it up. Don't worry, I'm off out. Uh, no, you're not. Not unless you're going to Freshco's. What? You're cooking dinner tonight. Are you missing Summit? Not you, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at the state of you. You better get back to the British Museum. King Tut's gonna be missing you. I need to see you tonight. Oh, going a bit too fast for me, Anna. No offence, love. You're not really my type anymore. I like me baking well done, not me winning. Can you come to the flat when you finish work? I want to talk to you. Now, what could you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear? Oh, you'd be interested in this. Believe me. OK. Nefertiti. I'm prepared to be intrigued. While I'm here, I'll have a piece of lemon drizzle. I say drizzle, but yours is like a downpour. You think it's overly moist? No. But you wouldn't want an umbrella for the stuff you get from frescoes. No, I really like that. Even so, it merely reflects the idiosyncratic preference for single customer. Beg your pardon? The idiot what? But in all my recipes, I, I strive to find the optimum of balance between extremes of flavour, what Aristotle described as the golden mean, thereby achieving the greatest appeal for the greatest number. What's Aristotle got to do with cake? What hasn't he got to do with cake? 
I don't know, but... Oh, Brian, it is good to see you. <laughs> you know, uh, be it a cream horn or a humble egg custard, you'll find a bit of philosophy lurking in there somewhere. Indeed you will, Brian. Indeed you will. How are you? Tolerably well. <laughs> but I'll be better with a brew and a wedge of that apple tart inside me. Is Julie with you? In, in a manner of speaking. She'll always occupy a corner of my heart. But, um... There's been a parting of the ways. What happened? She wouldn't let me have a caravan. But there was so much more to it than that. A, a divergence of outlook, a, a growing apart. The caravan merely brought the camels back, if you'll excuse the pun. I didn't think there was one. Anyway, I'd sooner not pick at that particular scab if it's all the same. The grieving process is entirely over. I understand. Better than anyone, my friend. How are things now? Has it gotten easier? Well, there, there, there have been certain developments. Mustache. I'm meeting my friend Iris in town 20 minutes ago. Mwah. TTFN. I, as I say, there have been certain developments. Obviously. Come on, come on. I have got plans for Christmas, you know. I thought you weren't coming. Yeah, well, not all about you, is it, Anna? The world doesn't revolve around Anna window. Yeah, but it did for you, didn't it? Once upon a time. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, Anna. You were never more than an entertaining sideline, and actually not that entertaining in the end. And that was before you got your backside brew laid. Anyway, I haven't got time for memory lane. My tea's gonna be on the table. Say what you gotta say, make it quick. In Weatherfield? I've been for a while. Uh, I retrained as an environmental health officer. Got a job with the council. So why have you not popped by? <laughs> There's not many cafe owners crave the visit from me. And the truth is, Roy, this street held too many memories. What, what, what brings you back now? Why, well, it's not entirely um, a social visit. I'm here in a professional capacity. <laughs> Your face. No, not here. I'm poised to swoop on an establishment nearby. And not that I'll be doing this job much longer anyway. No? Well, I, well, I suppose you see such grisly sights. Oh, I'm surprised I eat at all. I mean, what I don't know about Staphylococci is not worth knowing. So, I've applied to become the council's new recycling czar. Oh, that's admirable. I, I am a keen recycler myself. Although I must say, I've always found the use of the word czar in that context. <laughs> Rather odd. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it has a certain dignity about it. Uh, a gravitas, dare I say. But the question is, are you a CZ or a TS man? Well, it's not a word I have to spell very often. Well, if it's going on my station, we want it to be right. Well, both are legitimate, I believe. Oh. I think CZ is a more exotic quality. I can see Kremlin Dome, sleds, Judy Christie in a fur coat. Huh. It's evocative, I grant you. But given you'll be in charge of refuse collection for Weatherfield Council, do you think a Kremlin dome is a suitable image? It will be once I'm done. People around here won't know what's hit him. Talking of which, I'd best make a move. Um, I'll see you in the Rovers later. Ah. Oh, just about to give up on you. Look, what is this about? We're supposed to be getting the place ready for Dad, and you are meant to be cooking tea tonight. Sit down. This is the calm before the storm. I think we're entitled to a drink. Yeah, all right, but... A cheap print rovers. I'm buying. Anyway, it's more fun here. You reckon? Yeah. The entertainment should be starting any minute now. Oh, what is he doing back? You know. Unfortunately, yeah. <clears throat> Evening. Are you the proprietor? Is hmm. Robert Preston? Does she look <laughs> like him? <laughs> I've never met the man. Uh, is he? What do you want? I'm here on official business. <clears throat> oh, well, your dry cleaning's ready. What? <laughs> Packham, Weatherfield Council. Brian! 
Brilliant. Yes, I remember you now. Is it all right? Uh, yes, this is the boss. Ah, Mr Preston. I'm afraid the Environmental Health Department has received some serious allegations regarding your standards of hygiene. Oh, I keep it down. What's going on? Who's complained? Uh, I'm not at liberty to uh, divulge that information. But they are meeting me here later to uh, discuss their concerns. Oh, really? Well, I'll enjoy putting them straight. That kitchen's spotless. <laughs> Common claim. One rarely substantiated in my experience. Come and see for yourself, pal. I'd sooner hang on for the uh, complainant. Although, I must admit, your food does smell most enticing. <laughs> I, uh, missed lunch today. Oh. Uh, well, please. Order what you like. Maybe a little something while I wait. Um, what can I do for you? Can I bring my truck in? I've got some palace of tiles for you. Huh? Yeah, I meant to come Thursday, but I had a drop this way, so I thought I'd swing by on the off chance of someone to still be here. I did try and ring a couple of times. Yeah, uh, don't worry. Th that's fine. Tiles, did you say? Yeah. Bathroom tiles. 30 grand's worth. I wouldn't give them house room myself, but no accounting for people's taste, eh? <laughs> no. The last few months, they've been hell for me having to look across the road at you. Oh, I've told you, Anna. I'm not interested in any way I'm spoken for. Me and Eileen got engaged. Oh, didn't you know? I wondered why we never got a card off you. You try not to be too disappointed, eh? The sight of you makes me flesh crawl. <laughs> I'd rather not think about your flesh. Yeah, well, I don't want to look at you any more than you want to look at me. Well, get to the flaming point. Stop wasting my time. You're wasting your time shouting at me. You can't intimidate me. How oh, can I? I mean, granted, you haven't got any looks to lose anymore, but it must be awfully sore under them bandages. You don't frighten me. But you do make me feel physically sick, and I want you gone. Well, you better put a contract out on me. That's the only way I'm leaving town, darling. I've got it too good here. Spoken like a true parasite. You're just using Eileen. Three meals a day and a warm bed, nothing more. Yeah, but well, believe me, nobody would stay with Eileen for a cooking. I don't mind anything else. So it's love, is it? <sighs> nah, didn't think so. I don't think you could love anybody. I'm not loving this, so ta-da. No, wait, wait. Wait, wait! <sighs> I've got two grand together. It's... It's took some doing, but... It's yours if you agree to go. Two grand? Yeah. Wow! There's an offer you don't get every day. A whole 2K. Two large ones, two bags of sand. I mean, how could I spend it all? Oh, ten-year-old Mondeo, maybe. Fortnight in Benidorm, self-catering. Mm, possibly. <laughs> Hardly life-changing, Anna. Hey. If you sling your rock, it'll change my life, and it's two grand more than you've got now, so... Do you know, I won't be so quick to chuck it back in my face. Listen, no matter how fast I went, it wouldn't take very long, would it? Unless it's all in pennies. It's not all in pennies, is it, Anna? Don't tell me you've smashed little Faye's piggy bank. Oh, look, just... Take it or leave it. Well, I think I'm not basis. I'll leave it. I think that might be for me.
Faye found it under one of the tables in the cafe. Careful, Anna. If that conk of yours gets any longer, you'll have my eye out. I'll try again. It's true. And anyway, I'd ought to justify myself to you. Hello, mate. I had a missed call from this number about ten minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. I thought they were being delivered on Thursday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who let you in? What bloke? What did he look like? And how old would you say he was? Was he still there when you left? No, 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 everything's fine, mate. Thanks. Bye. Funny, that. Some fair-haired bloke in his 60s just taking delivery of a load of tiles down at the building site. Any idea who that might be? Nope. Come on, Anna. What's the game? Don't know what you're on about. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> this whole thing stunk to high heaven. I should have guessed with you. You must be losing your touch in your old age. Don't! Don't you dare push it any more than you already have. You are so gonna regret crossing me. You and little Mikey Rodwell. <laughs> so that's Tracy's... Um, step-nephew? Is there such a thing? Mm, I'm not sure. I mean, I doubt there's a birthday card for it. I feel sorry for him. Why? Being related to her. Well, mind you, at least he's not got the genes. That's some consolation. Tracy's all right when you get to know her. When have you got to know her? Well, just seen her around. She's not too bad on the eye. Don't even think about it. She'd make faster work of you than he has the muscles. Steph, service. Everything all right with those? Very nice. Um, the sauce could live with a little more seasoning. Critic and all. But overall, very acceptable. I should hope so. You've accepted three balls. Now, listen, mate. It seems pretty obvious to me that whoever it was that made this complaint is not going to turn up. It's just someone making trouble. Mm -hmm. Has been known. But we have to take such matters seriously. But um, in the circumstances, I'm prepared to take no further action. No further action? No, 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 no. No, we've done nothing wrong. I'm expecting an apology. What for? For starters, you come in here, the punters hear you loud and clear. I might as well have put you over the speakers. Now, that kind of word gets round. It's damaging to my business. So, yeah, sorry's the least I deserve. <laughs> then you're in for a long wait. I make no apology for defending the diners of Weatherfield. I shall shine a light on every grubby preparation area, stained utensil, or insanitary practice in the kitchens of this borough. I shall leave no stone unturned. And no muscle unsucked. Right, that will be 28... Perhaps I ought to take a quick look in the kitchen while I'm still here. Oh, no, 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 no more, OK? Uh, the muscles are on the house. I guess this joke has messed you around as much as he has me. That's very kind of you. I'll show myself, huh? I think my work here is done. You rang him. I was just doing my public duty. Yeah, um... I appreciate the gesture and all that, but I can fight my own battles. We're family. Your battles are my battles. Trust me, this might be kid stuff. You'll never meet anyone who fights harder than me. Or dirtier. Oh, I could fit my whole life in one flaming bag. Ah, well. And that's why they call them old dolls. You don't suppose I could stay at yours, could I? If it were up to me, kid, but unfortunately, that's Norris's call. And I doubt you'll get any joy there. When it comes to the milk of human kindness, is as long since curdled. Yes, Roy. Hello, love. Are you off somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to, um, um... What's this? What's happened? It's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing from where I'm standing. Come on, let's have it. I've got nowhere to go. I thought you had a little flat. I can't go back there. It's not safe. Oh. I'm homeless. Come on, baby. So, 
How was your visit? <laughs> it wasn't one of my more eventful busts. The report was a nuisance call. Oh, how annoying for you. Indeed. But it'll just be another bitter memory once I'm crowned recycling czar. Ah, you've made it. <laughs> yeah, Iris had to get back for a fresh goods delivery. They've changed her life. Oh. What? I'm merely thinking of the carbon footprint of those vans. Well, I think they offset the emissions. This is my friend, Brian. This is Brian. <laughs> What's he told you? Oh, this and that. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. So, uh, did you have a nice afternoon? Oh, smashing. I ordered my outfit for Zidane's wedding and... Look what Iris brought me. Hmm? It's a wedding countdown clock, isn't it cute? Does it go off? It's a clock, not a bomb. So, is that how long there is to go? Yeah, every second takes us closer to the big day. Right, right, I'll, I'll, I'll get you a drink. Evening. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.